Remember when the Golden Ray was passing under the Sydney Lanier Bridge and the crew prepared the pilot ladder? Well, that involved opening one of the ship's shell doors, creating a hole in the hull on the port side. All those stability graphs that we just saw assume that the hull remains intact and no extra water gets in. With the pilot door open, once Golden Ray reached an angle of 17 degrees, water could rush in through the open door, collect on the low side and accelerate a capsize. Had that door been closed, she would have been watertight until approximately 83 degrees instead. So, why was the real stability so different from what the crew thought? When investigators plugged in the precise numbers to an identical loading computer, it correctly told them the vessel was not okay, meaning it should never have left the berth. To bring the ship into compliance, you would need to add an additional 1,492 tonnes of seawater ballast. Does that sound familiar? Remember when the ship was on passage a few days prior? They loaded 1,500 tonnes of ballast to prepare for Hurricane Dorian, before pumping it out again a few days later when their destination was changed to Jacksonville. With the stability computer in manual, someone would have had to manually remove that ballast from the calculations as well. If that had have been left in, the crew would have believed that their ship was far more stable than it was. It is possible that a small clerical error could have resulted in the loss of a $62.5 million ship, $142 million worth of cargo, and cost over $250 million in salvage expenses. 